Hello, thank you for joining me again today for a few moments with our Good Shepherd. Death and glory, they seem to be polar opposites, don't they? And for the most part, they, they really are. Death talks about sadness and often defeat. And glory, the exact opposite. That's joy, that's victory, that's celebration. Well, today, on this Tuesday of Holy Week, Jesus is really joining both of those thoughts together. Jesus is in the temple courts. He's teaching a large group of people, and he draws an illustration from nature. And so we read from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 12, starting with verse 24. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it continues to be one kernel. But if it dies, it produces much grain. Now we've all seen that in our backyards. A piece of fruit falls off the tree, it rots and it dies, but the little seed inside stays alive and that sprouts and grows into a glorious new tree. Glory from death. Well, Jesus is talking about what's going to happen to him this week. And by Friday, Jesus is going to die. But through the death of that one person, many will be made righteous, as the book of Romans tells us. Through the death of that one Jesus, who was perfect and holy because he is true God, he has made us holy through the forgiveness of our sins and made many, many people holy through that forgiveness of sins. Glory through death. And then another part comes, and Jesus says in verse 27, And now my soul is troubled. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, this is the reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. The Father's name would be glorified by Jesus' sacrifice on the cross because it was the Father's plan all along, and Jesus fulfilled it each and every step. Not a single stroke of a pen, not a single dot of an eye had fallen by the wayside. Jesus kept it all perfectly, just as God had wanted. And so the Father's name was glorified. And he would glorify it even more. As he raised Jesus from the dead on Easter morning, celebrating the fact that that payment for our sins was complete, that payment was acceptable, nothing more needed to be done. It was all done through Jesus' perfect life. And the Father would continue to glorify his name through Jesus. For as that banner of the cross would be carried throughout the world, millions of people like you and like me would worship at the foot of that cross, worshiping our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so out of that death came glory, not just for Jesus as our Savior, not just for the Father, as the one who had planned and carried out our salvation, but also then for us too. Because one day we will be glorified, glorified in the perfection of heaven. And so let that sink in today. That no matter what the circumstances are in your life or in your job or at school, no matter how bad they might be, God can be glorified. He's glorified as we, according to Jesus, die to ourselves, die to those cravings of our sinful nature, die to those lusts of our flesh that would ridicule, that would turn their backs on God. So we die to ourselves, but then we take up our cross and follow Jesus in real life. And that's how Jesus is glorified by us. We pray. Father, 
Thank you for Jesus. By his life, death, and resurrection, he glorified you. May we glorify you daily as we die to sin and live for you. Amen. Thank you again for joining me today. And until next time, may God bless you richly.